A sphere of radius r is cut by a plane at a distance from h from its center thereby breaking this sphere into two different pieces. So let me quickly depict what exactly is happening. We have a sphere here and at a distance of h from its center there is a plane that is cutting this sphere and now finally we are getting two such pieces. So that we have these two such pieces. Now the question says if the cumulative surface area of these two pieces is 25% more than that of the sphere, what is the value of h? Now this 25% extra, why exactly has this come into picture? So that's what we need to understand. So we need to see that there is a new circle that we have we can see has been generated on piece A and similarly the similar circle has been generated on the other piece B as well. That means the increased area is equal to 2 new circles. But now the question is how to find out the area of these circles and for that we need to know the radius. So see radius of these circles. Now we already know that this was distance h and this entire distance was radius so the remaining distance is r minus h and uh, this distance is r. So this particular distance that means the radius of these two smaller pieces the, uh, the two smaller circles will be equal to we can use the Pythagoras theorem here and can say that this value a will be equal to square root of r square minus h square. So here the area of these two circles will be 2 times pi square root of r square minus h square and the square of it and this increased area is equal to 25 percent of the area of sphere. So let's quickly calculate that. This becomes 2 pi bracket r square minus h square while the 25 percent of the so this part becomes this and 25 percent means one fourth of the total surface area of the sphere is 4 times of pi r square. So now we need to simplify this, 4 can be cancelled out here, pi gets cancelled out here. So we understand that twice of r square minus twice of h square is equal to r square which gives us twice of h square is equal to uh, r square. That means h square is equal to r square divided by 2. So h becomes equal to r divided by square root of 2. So here we have the value of h in terms of r and we can see that a option is giving us exactly what we want. So that becomes our answer. I hope this learning was enjoyable. Thank you so much.